is a civil danger warning effective nationwide. Your most attention is required. All stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency notification message. This is not a test. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about five essentials that every American should own um, if they care about themselves, their families, and making it through some potentially tough times that may or may not come. I don't know, but uh, I'm in the mindset of better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So what are those five items? Let's dive right into it. So item number one is an AR-15. You need an AR-15. Why do you need an AR-15? Because you fucking do. Um, <laughs> if I have to explain all the reasons why you would need something like this, then uh, the battle's probably already lost on you. You should just give up, let your wife uh, marry somebody else who uh, can take care of her and your kids have a, a positive role model to look up to. And you can just go cry in a corner while someone comes and saves you, if they do. All right, anyway, so an, <laughs> an AR-15. You need an AR-15. How you load it out, I'm not going to get into all that. Um, you can do a red dot, you can do an LPVO, whatever the hell you want to do, how you want to set it up. But set it up to where it works for you, it works for your environment, and it works for whatever goals you have in mind. If you don't have any goals in mind, make those first and then build out your AR-15. All right. To go along with that AR-15, you know, minus your attachments, you need, you need to have magazines. You can't just have one mag and think that you're good to go. So I'm not going to tell you how many you should have, but you should have several. You should have enough to load out and uh, be proficient because things break, things go down. It's always nice to have a lot of options. So I would just say, if I had to throw a number out there, I'll say eight, have eight spare mags with your uh, AR-15. Item number two, item number two would be a handgun. Now, what handgun? Again, that's a personal choice, that's for you. For me, it would be my Smith & Wesson m &P. This will be my go-to primary handgun. Yes, I have a ton of them. Uh, this would be the one that I would pick. Again, how you load it out is up to you. Uh, if you wanna have optic, you wanna have a light, you don't wanna have any of it, whatever. Um, I pick an m &P because one, it's American made, two, parts are pretty cheap and they're very common. Um, another good one would be a Glock 19. Obviously, they're probably in most households across America. Um, but for me, Smith & Wesson m &P. Same thing with the AR is you want to have several magazines to go with it. A lot of gun owners either have two or three, whatever came with the gun, one, and uh, that's all they have. No, you want to have at least probably seven or eight pistol mags as well. Why so many? Um, because, because things happen and you need to have mags. You need to be prepared. So seven or eight mags, I think is a, is a good number. Hey, if you got five or six and that's what you got, you're going to be all right. I would just say seven, eight, probably a better number to, uh, to, to strive for. All right. Item number three, these aren't in any specific order, by the way, item number three is going to be medical. Now, how you want to have your medical is up to you. If you want to have it on a, something like a battle belt here, this is a nice to have. It didn't make the list, but, uh, cause I try to keep it to the five most essential items. Um, but again, battle belt's really cool. So anyway, number three is medical. Um, whether you have something like this or you have a bigger kit because it's going to provide care for you, your family, uh, wife, kids, whatever you have, um, obviously that size is going to dictate. Maybe you have a whole bag full, full of medical. That's up to you. Um, but something, you need to have something. Something is better than nothing. And uh, you just kind of plan it off of whatever family size you have or who you're taking care of. If it's just you, something like this is probably going to be just fine. Um, I also have kits in all my vehicles, you know, you never know. Uh, you, you don't get to plan for emergencies or accidents because that's why they're called accidents, not, they're not planned events. Um, all right, not gonna go into the battle belt. All right, number four, what is number four? Number four is body armor. Now you can see I have, uh, I have some here. I've got multiple sets of body armor. Um, this will probably be my primary for myself. I've got options for my family as well. But uh, level four ceramic plates, um, ballistic helmet. Again, how you actually set it up is going to be up to you and how you know, you're making your gear work for you. But body armor is, uh, is number four. And last but not least is number five, which is a bug out bag. Now, 
why a bug out bag? Even if you're not bugging out, a bag is something nice to have. Um, say you're, you know, whatever's going down, you have to go out for the day, collect supplies, hunting, whatever. Um, having a nice bag to be able to carry the gear you're gonna need to sustain yourself for however long you're gone is, is essential. You, you, you know, you can't stuff your pockets, but with so much stuff. So a good bag, whether you use it for bug out or just holding your gear, is is essential to me uh, being able to hold all your supplies all those mags that i was talking about um my plate carrier i can only hold three on there could i stuff some in my pockets if i got my battle belt i can throw another one on there um but a bag is going to come really really uh handy especially if you're carrying water some chow um you know stuff to make a shelter whatever um bags are they're an absolute necessity um, if you disagree, that's fine. Put your top five down in the comments. I'd love to see them and uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, guys, that's my top five items that every American should have in their household ready to go. These things you should have on you and you should be prepared. So if you want to spend a little bit more money to have those items, um, get, get some quality stuff. So yes, I can have walls full of guns and all that stuff, but you need to have one rifle and one pistol that you spent a little bit of money on, invested in that gear that is going to last you. Um, and it's, that's just, that's going to be your best bet, guys. All right. Let me know what you guys think down in those comments. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Appreciate you.